Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Marvel Legends, Iron Spider, and Future Foundation Spider, Spider-Man. Um, so this one, uh, my best friend slash brother Brian had gotten me this. Uh, he originally had bought it for himself, but um, he ended up giving this, this to me for my birthday. We'll take a quick look at the box. It's probably one of the first ones that, um, and then there's the barcode, for those of you who need it or want it. Um, this is probably one of the first ones, I believe, of the plasticless window gone. Now it's all cardboard. Uh, I've been meaning to open this for a while, but I've been nervous to because I'm not quite sure how, how good the quality is going to be, but... Let's hop right into this video and take a look. Alright guys, welcome back. Um, I'm now going to open up the Iron Spider first. And then we'll see how he looks and we will go from there. Where is the easiest way? Oh, okay. We'll go this way. Um, just so you guys know, um, so I'm not the biggest... I know many of us aren't the biggest fan of the um, of the windowless plastic. Am I going going to stop buying figures? Probably not. Um, as I said in yesterday's video, um, there's a few figures I'm waiting to either find in store or um, or just to, I'm debating on whether I want to order them online or if I want to just uh, wait to see if I can find them in the store. So now, I've seen other YouTubers post this. It's kind of, I'm going to show the box. So, so this is what it looks like straight out of the box. Just a little funky. So we're going to set him down because I know his other stuff is in here. So we have, in this little baggie, his hands, which I don't think I'm going to be um, using. And then in this box, I'm sure a lot of you know by now, is the three um, arms or legs, I guess you could say. I've been told that they're kind of bendy, but look at that, that. They have the little... I've seen these before. I probably will play around with them at another time with them. Another time with these. Right now, I just want to check out the figure. We open the figure up here. It's trash. Sorry about all the noise. Oh, that. That is cool. The only thing I don't like, it's not really a, not liking is how the feet. Oh, okay, they're definitely better than, um, if you remember my video from yesterday, my Stormtroopers and the Soaker, their feet were hard to bend. But for Haha's, ha Let's give him his, uh, gee, that takes a little, you have to use some pressure there to get these in. Whoopsies. When putting these in, just be careful. You will hear like a little, it's like a little click, I want to say. I don't know if I'm putting these in right or not, but. And then the final one, I should probably turn this one this way. Like I said, I'm going to be playing around with this 
probably at another time. There we go. All three of them are in. And there you have it. It's the Iron Spider. Looks weird. I feel like I did this wrong. I probably did. <laughs> this is instructions or this all legal stuff? Oh, just leave this one. Yep, warning, talking hazard. Blah, 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 blah. That's okay. But here you go, the Iron Spider. Um, his head rotates. He can look up. He look menacing. His elbows, obviously. You know, they turn. Oh, 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 there we go. His legs are a little stiff. So the only thing I'm not sure about is these arm things. I'm actually going to... Oh! <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. But it just did. So we're going to attach that back. So I'm going to have to play around with this. I don't know that I just took out all the legs and this part on his back. This part right here just came out pretty loosely. Um, but overall, it's still a really cool figure. Um, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan, so I mean, this is going to go great with, with my other Spider-Man. I have um, two Tom Holland Spider-Mans, and I have the, um, it's like a black and green Spider-Man. Which is pretty cool looking, but he's very, very thin. I did a video on him, it feels like forever ago. But I'm going to set these legs down in Spider-Man. Um, we're going to put the trash where it needs to go. And um, I'm going to set the box aside because we're going to um, keep those for a later date. For reasons I'll disclose later. Um, I did say, however, that, um, that I was expecting a package in. It was supposed to be here on Thursday, but it's here, it got here today, which is kind of funny. So let's keep this moving, and we'll check out the future Foundation Spider-Man, because he's pretty cool too. So with him, if you look on the back, you get two things of like webs or whatever and you get two hands there's no like head accessories or whatever which is fine um like i said i'm not a giant fan of these windowless boxes huh so with the iron spider the bottom here had tape on it this one does not which kind of now worries me i'm not gonna lie to you guys um, in the comments, let me know who your favorite Marvel character is and who your favorite, um, Marvel Legend figure is. I know mine is going to be, um, that black and green Spider-Man just because, <laughs> um, for one, my favorite colors are black and green. And, and I know I'm wearing the same Marvel shirt as I was yesterday. It's been a long day. And so there. So here are the hands. Pretty cool looking. We're going to set those down. And then, and this one is the webs. So. So we can get the webs out. See, I'm really not liking how they're doing this already. Like, I don't like having to... I would rather this be like a... I don't say a plastic package, but like... It would just make it so much easier. Oh, these are kind of... These are cool. So, they kind of like tie them together kind of thing. It's not like a tight plastic. Like, you can definitely bend these around and whatnot. Which is kind of cool. You just want to be careful how much you bend them. These are not... Oh, there we go. 
pretty cool webbing. We're gonna set that aside. Uh, I'm not looking to open up the arms today. I'm gonna, well, the hands, I should say. I'm gonna leave those for um, another day. Or I'm gonna um, put them in the accessories area that I have. So here he is, all wrapped up. Uh, the next video I'm gonna do, probably right after this one, is um, I'm gonna open up. Well, you guys will see. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Sorry, guys. Why is the feet always so difficult? So here's the figure. It's pretty cool. He's got one fist, and then he's got one like web shooting hand going here. Hands twist. You can bend the elbow. Head's a little tight. Can you look up? Yep, you can look up. See that? He's looking up. Ah, come back. Uh, let's check out the knees. Look, he's kicking himself in the butt. <laughs> um, really cool figure. Again, like I said before, I am a huge Spider-Man fan, so you can never have too many Spider-Mans. Um, well, that's a bit loose. I don't like that, but that's okay. Um, so I know what I would like to add to the collection is definitely the um, the symbiote Spider-Man, um, the one that's not in the Marvel Legends boxes. He's in like a like a hard paperback kind of thing. Um, uh, I think I found him on Amazon for like thirty bucks. Probably not gonna do it for a little while, but um, yeah, these two are definitely cool to add to the collection. Um, definitely glad that I have them. I'm glad I finally got to open them up because they have uh, they've been sitting for quite a while. Uh, so I'm gonna show you what I did with them real quick. <laughs> They're just kind of sitting there at the moment, just enjoying themselves. Um, yeah, if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel a great deal. Uh, again, comment down below who your favorite Marvel character is, what your favorite Marvel Legends figure is. Um, I know in my area, just this past week at Best Buy, I seen... Um, I believe it was the What If series, the Hydro Stomper. I seen it there for like 30, but my funds were already kind of low, so I couldn't pick it up, unfortunately. I'm hoping it's still there this week, because if it's there this week, I will gladly pick it up. Uh, if this is the first time, your first time to my channel and you like my content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, it is definitely cool to be doing this. I'm doing this for enjoyment. I love posting videos for you guys. Um, and hope to see you guys in the next video. I will see you guys later.